Hey guys, it's Al from Just Ask Al the Appliance Expert. GE was kind enough to drop me off their latest and newest product. Super innovative. This is the one and done washer dryer combo in beautiful carbon graphite. This is a 28 inch washing machine and a dryer all in one unit front load. This is ventless technology. Doesn't require it to vent. It's a condensing dryer. It's a standard hookup. It uses 110 volts. It does not need special electric. Standard drain hose, standard hot and cold. What makes this unique, of course, is it's a washer dryer in one, but they added heat pump technology to this. What does that mean to you? It means it dries. When this is at the end of the cycle, it's gonna extract all the moisture, a lot of moisture out of that air, and it's gonna send it out through the drain hose. There's no need to empty a bucket as well. This is awesome technology. It's brand new. I'm excited to show it to you. It is a huge capacity. This unit here, is 4.8 cubic feet. It holds a king size comforter. It has microband technology. What does this do? It resists mild, moldu. It's antimicrobial. Real, real nice piece here. Um, I think you're gonna be really happy with it. You get two units in one machine, uh, and let's talk about the features. This is a very non-intimidating machine. The controls are very concise, very clear, very easy to use. Power, wash, dry, start. You can just select the washer, you just select the dryer, you can select your, all your cycle options, very simple to use, all spelled out with a large screen, time indicator how much time is left during the cycle, whether it's washing, whether it's drying. Again, it goes right from wash to dry, there's no need for you to go back and press any of the buttons on this machine. It's a large 4.8 cubic foot capacity, and the dispensers are smart dispensers. So your fabric softener will dispense at the proper time and the ideal load, and it is, does do 28 loads in that dispenser, same for your laundry detergent, or it has single use compartments as well. And what this machine has that a lot of the combos do not have, and it has a true lint screen. This will capture the lint and take it off your clothes. You should be cleaning this every load. And again, if you are connected, you will get a push notification to say time to clean the lint screen. Some really great features, but very easy to use, innovative, simple, clean. This is a game changer. Uh, I believe this is gonna take over a lot of laundry rooms in the uh, households. Let's talk connectivity. Very important thing, we're talking about these new modern appliances. You hear the word smart a lot. I like to say connected personally. So it makes your life easier to connect these. They do it for a reason. You download the GE Smart HQ app and you just click add an appliance. It's really that simple. It steps you through a few steps, setting up your home Wi-Fi network and so on. Uh, it connects in under two minutes, very easy to use. What the app's gonna do for you is gonna give you remote diagnostics. You're gonna be able to put in custom cycles. It's gonna send you push notification when the wash is done, when the dry is done, when it's time to clean the lint screen. So connectivity is really important today. So don't think of it as obtrusive. Think of the technology as time-saving. It's great technology. You want to be connected to your appliance because it does so much more when you're connected. It opens up a myriad of features to the unit. Custom cycle, amazing. You can design a cycle on your phone. You can send it right to the machine. You can start this machine right from your phone. You can end it from your phone. So it's really important to connect these today. And again, it's a smart HQ app downloadable in the App Store. Uh, I connecting, I'm connecting mine to it, and I think you should do as well. You get the machine, you unpack it. This is a, a view of the back of the machine. Standard on front loaders today, you're gonna see shipping bolts. You have to remove those. That disengages the tub, so it's able to spin freely. It's for shipping, so it locks it in place. Without that, the machine's gonna walk. They did uh, route the cord through it, which is smart, so it almost forces you to take them out. But those bolts are meant to be removed and put aside. They're not to stay in the machine while you're operating it. As far as hookups go, you'll notice there's no vent hole at the bottom. Again, this is ventless technology, does not require an exterior vent. 110 volt, standard plug, should be dedicated circuit, just like you would have now in your standard washing machine. Standard drain hose, standard hot cold connection. So this machine, as far as the hookups go, there's nothing special you need. It fits in existing opening, existing connections that you have in your house. And I like that GE did that, so it really can just retrofit in anywhere. Um, but this is a view I want to give you at the back of the machine so you can kind of see it and uh, understand where everything is located. Again, you have your inlet valves, your discharge hose, your four shipping bolts, your standard 110 volt plug, and that's all you need to make this machine work. Really, really great machine. Um, we're gonna bring this home and we're gonna test it Hey guys, just ask Al here. Now we're gonna talk about installation. Took the machine home, it's at my house. 
Um, I actually have a unique setup because it's an accessory building. So the uh, front of it is going through a closet. We'll show you in a moment. And the back is in this nice open area here. So hookup is, uh, is very easy. Talk about hookups again. Really easy on this machine. Electric, 110 volt. Hot and cold water feeds. And of course, no venting needed. And I actually drain mine into a slop sink. It's just a setup I have. Many of you have a, a traditional drain. Um, I don't need a, anything else. I do have a floor drain here just in case. Um, as well on the hoses, I like to use steel braided. And I don't really recommend the flood proof ones. I'd rather see like a Watts water box. I find the uh, flood proof hoses a lot of times uh, kind of are overreactive. And a lot of service calls we get people calling, they go, oh, you know, I watch it not taking water and it's because the hoses have to be reset. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna uh, get this machine hooked up really simple, fast. Don't forget, you're gonna plug it in, hot and cold, drain hose. You have to remove the four shipping bolts. And on this machine, there's two metal brackets that are held on by Phillips head screws. Those will come off as well. So uh, let's get started. I'm excited to get this thing hooked up. There you have it. Machine's fully installed. Check the hose for leaks. Looks good. Drain hose in right position. Unit's plugged in. Now let's go around to the front side and let's get this connected to the app. All right, guys, let's look this up to the uh, connectability. Let's look up to the app. Power on. Again, the machine's new, so I'm going to get a little notification saying that the tank's empty. I'm just going to select that twice, make it go away. We're going to go into the menu. We're going to click up for Wi-Fi. I'm going to select it. I'm going to make sure Wi-Fi is on, which it is. I already pre-did that. I'm going to go to set up. Set up Wi-Fi, select. From there, you could download the app with the QR code. I already have the app on my phone. It already found there's a combo nearby. It says connect, tells me what to do. I already did that. Trying to connect to your appliance. Bluetooth pairing, it requests. I'm gonna click pair. Trying to connect to your appliances. Now it's searching for my in-home Wi-Fi network, which I will collect one. I will put in my passcode, make sure I got that correct. We will hit connect. It's adding the appliance. Hey guys, it's Al again. So here you go. The machine's ready to uh, ready to be used. Uh, keep in mind, it automatically is preset from wash to dry. So you don't have to do anything extra on that. The reason why they have a wash and a dry button is in case you just want to wash or you just want to dry. But it's going to really set the drying options based on the cycle you pick on the washer. And then there's some additional options you can choose. So we're going to power it up. It's going to tell me the smart dispenser is empty because I did not fill it up yet. I'm going to bypass it for now. I'm just going to select, select to bypass that. We are going to throw in what I call the big test, which is a ton of towels. And I will tell you my old combo never dried. So this is, this is my test here. This dries, I'm sold on this thing. So in two hours and two minutes, we're going to click the towels button. Three hours, 54 minutes for this. Probably because it's towels, they soak up a lot of water, so a lot of moisture in there. You press start. I'm going to bypass the dispenser again, and we're good to go. I'm going to walk away. Machine's going to do its thing. Door just locked. It's going to start running. We're going to time lapse this for you to save you some time. Um, again, at two hours is really your normal cycle for a, about a 10 pound load. But I kind of put in the uh, what I felt is the hardest thing to dry, which is you know really uh, heavy towels uh, that we use at the pool a lot, you know beach a lot, and uh, we're going to run this, and uh, we'll be back with you in a little bit. We're going to take these towels out, and if they're dry, then GE did its job. Hey guys, well, this is the time. This is the reveal. We are going to open up this machine and let's hope it's dry. I'm going to say one thing before I do it. The time was about on this uh, cycle from start to finish, about three hours and 40 minutes, which isn't bad at all. Uh, that's on a, you know, a towel cycle. Um, what was really impressive, it was really quiet, like quiet. Like I, I couldn't believe that this thing was running. Uh, it was pretty silent. So uh, let's open it up and um, let's see how we did. Definitely feel residual heat right away. 
Wow. Totally dry. Totally, this is like a regular dryer. Pull a couple more out and just see. Let me get a whole little feel for everything. Extremely, extremely impressed. This thing, wow, it, it really did what's advertised of it. Wash, clean, dry, all in a machine. Um, I can't believe this. It actually works perfect. Every towel, dry as can be. I feel the residual heat. Again, I had another combo in the past. I didn't feel that heat in there. You lint screen into the cycle, clean it out. After every cycle, pop it in, hook up to the app. When this was done, I got a push notification. I didn't have to stand over the machine and keep watching the timer. It sent something to my phone saying that the cycle was complete. So it made it really easy. Um, I, I think I'm sold on this. I know I'm sold on this. I think GE hit it out of the park. And uh, in the house area, I, I'm probably going to put two of these in side by side. I, I think it's this game changer. Um, the fact that you can just put your laundry in, leave, and not worry about moving it into a dryer. So this is a two thumbs up from me. Um, total approval from Just Ask Al, the appliance expert. This machine does what it's advertised. It is a combo. It is a one and done. You put your clothes in, it's going to wash them. It's going to dry them. I'm telling you, I wish you could feel through the camera. These towels are dry as if it came out of any standard dryer. Even better, I would say. So uh, again, two...